In permutations and combination, we generally come across problems where we need to distribute different objects in different places. Say for example, suppose we have this question where we need to distribute five different balls in four different boxes so that no box is empty. Now this question can be solved in many ways. So first method could be, now we know that there are five distinct balls and four distinct boxes and we have to distribute these balls so that no box is empty. So we know that the distribution should be 2, 1, 1 and 1. So one box will have two balls and the remaining three boxes will have only one ball. So what we'll do is first we we'll go for unnamed distribution. So I have these five balls. I'll distribute these five balls in two, one, one and one ways. So it can be done in factorial 5, factorial 2, factorial 1 to the power 3 and then because the number here is same, so I'll divide by factorial 3. So now I have distributed these 5 balls in a group of 2, 1, 1 and 1. Now we can arrange these 4 groups in 4 boxes in factorial 4 ways. So now it will be factorial 5, factorial 4, factorial 2, factorial 3 and it will be 120 into 2 so that is 240. So this is one way of doing it. So go for unnamed distribution and then distribute this group in four different boxes. Now method two is again we know that we have to distribute them so that one box will have two and then the remaining boxes will have three. So are these four boxes suppose the boxes are A, B, C and D. So are these four boxes there has to be one box which will contain two and the remaining three boxes will have only one. So what I'll do is, are these four, first I'll select the box that will have two balls. So in how many ways it can be done? So are these four boxes, I'll need to select only one. So this is, I'm selecting a box here. So it is 4C1. And now for this box, I'll select two balls from five given balls. So from five balls, I'll select two balls, so which is 5C2. So for this box, I'm selecting two balls. Now after this, I'm left with three balls and three boxes. So in how many ways can we arrange three balls and three boxes? So it can be done in factorial three ways. So it is four. Now this is factorial five, factorial two, factorial three. And then this is factorial three. So it is again 240. So this is another way of solving this question. Now another way of solving the same question can be, we'll first solve this question assuming that these balls are identical. So I'll solve it in the linear equation x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 is equal to 5. So where x1, x2, x3 and x4 represents number of balls in box 1, 2, 3 and 4. And each of this xi should be greater than or equal to 1. So the number of ways in which I can distribute these balls is n minus 1c, r minus 1 and it is 4c3 and that is 4. Now once I have this distribution of identical balls, then I know this distribution will be 2, 1, 1 and 1. Now I need to arrange these balls in the boxes. So it can be done. So this is 4, which is your distribution part. And then alignment of these 5 balls will be simply factorial 5 divided by factorial 2 because these two balls, they come in the same box. So now I'll be 2 into factorial 5, which again is 240. Now we can also solve this question using inclusion exclusion. So in how many ways can we distribute these five different balls in four different boxes? So we have five balls and four boxes. Suppose boxes are A, B, C and D. Now we need to distribute them in such a way that no box is empty. So first what I'll do is I'll find total number of ways in which I can distribute these five balls in these four boxes. So for each ball, I have four options. Either I'll go to box A or B or C or D. So for first ball, I have four options. For second ball, again, I'll have four options. Third, I'll have four options. So for these five balls, total number of ways in which I can distribute these five balls in four boxes is four to the power five. Now minus, from this, I have to select all those cases in which 
at least one of the box is empty. So that means I'll need to select all the cases or I'll need to subtract all the cases which is A union, B union, C union and D. So which is 4 to the power 5 and then minus this is summation N A minus summation N A intersection B plus summation N A intersection B intersection C and then minus N a intersection B, intersection C, and intersection D. Where these events A, B, C, and D denote box A is empty, box B is empty, box C is empty, or box D is empty. So at least one of the four boxes is empty. So now this is 4 to the power 5 minus now N A. Now which means box A is empty. So that means any ball will either go to B, C, or D. So that means for every ball we have three options. So now it will be 3 to the power 5. Now again it will be NAS, so summation NAS, NA plus NB plus NC plus ND which is 4C1. Now minus NA intersection B, it simply means A and B, they are both empty. So for each ball there are two options, either they will go to C or they will go to D. So that means it will be 2 to the power 5. Now in how many ways can we select A and B, so which is 4C2. Now plus any 3, so it is 4C3. Now we have only one box, so for every ball, I have only one option, so that is 1 to the power 5, and all the 4 empty, so then there is no choice. So now we'll solve this, so it is 4 to the power 5 minus 4 into 3 to the power 5 plus 4C2 into 2 to the power 5 and then minus 4c3 into 1 to the power 5 so this is 2 to the power 10 so it is 1024 minus 4 and this is 243 plus uh, so this is 6 into 32 and then minus 4 which again is 240 so again the answer to this question is 240.